Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me. I'm Vicki Murphy. I'm a Jira Line Specialist with Xmium, which is a Platinum Solutions partner with Atlassian. In this video, I will be breaking down the updates to Jira Line with the release of version 10.116. This version was released to Jira Line instances on the continuous release track on January 24th, 2023. This will typically be your test or dev environment if you have one. And the updates will be released to Jira Line instances on the bundled release track, typically your production environment, um, on January 27th, 2023. These updates do impact both end users and administrators, though we are really heavy with administrative updates in this release. So let's go ahead and jump in. First, with some admin updates, just a reminder that the uh, out-of-the-box time tracking module will be removed from Jira Line with the release of version 10.119 later in 2023. Atlassian stated that the existing time tracking uh, module no longer aligns with their vision for the future of Jira Align and also isn't frequently used by customers. Atlassian also called out that if you are looking for a time tracking solution, they recommend looking into the ability to integrate Tempo Timesheets with Jira Align. Tempo Timesheets is an add-on for Jira software that we often see used when customers need more advanced time tracking capabilities. We also continue to see some small naming updates in the administrative pages. With this release, most of the uh, settings in the JIRA setup tab have had a uh, makeover, essentially. Um, again, this is not going to change any of the functionality of these settings. Um, it is just making the names a little bit more clear so that we know exactly what we're working with as, as administrators. I have an example on the screen here. We're gonna see that the story creation requires team setting is now going to read, does story creation in Jira require a team assignment? Just making it even more clear what this setting is asking for and uh, what it is controlling really um, when we are configuring it as administrators. If you want a detailed, detailed comparison of all of the updates, do check out the release notes, which are linked in the description of this video. Over the last few releases, we have seen updates of this nature. It really seems like Atlassian is striving to make the tool easier to understand and, administrate and administer, which is really great to see. There are actually a couple more updates on this Jira Setup tab that we'll take a look at later on in this presentation. Um, so you will see some of these updates firsthand in just a little bit. Atlassian also made some incremental uh, improvements to the work tree module in Jira line. Uh, Atlassian called out in the release notes that the work tree module is one of the most heavily used areas of Jira Align. Um, so we're just going to see some loading improvements, which is just going to make it even easier to interact with as end users. And uh, we're also going to see more enhanced syncing of the sprint name and sprint goal fields. Previously, these fields only would sync from Jira software to Jira line upon the creation of a new sprint. But going forward, if teams update these values uh, after the sprint has been created, uh, that information will now sync to Jira Align as well. We continue to see some updates with the API 2.0. In this release, Atlassian stated that they are kicking off a new effort to ensure consistency in their API coverage to really ensure that all objects have consistent method support. This will include the get, post, put, patch, delete, and more methods. Also consistent coverage, meaning support for audit logs, acceptance criteria, links, et cetera, through the API. And that all properties such as the Epic financial fields and release sync sprints um, and more are available in the API. In this release, Atlassian did make the updates you see on the slide here to the API 2.0. Atlassian also announced that uh, over the next several releases, they'll be rolling out some new APIs to help automate some of the JIRA connector management tasks. Some examples that they listed include adding new JIRA projects and boards to the connector um, and managing some fields like the product and team field and their mappings between JIRA software and JIRA line. This release did kick off some of the updates to the endpoints in the API that you can see on the screen here. For more detailed uh, descriptions of these updates, you can of course check out the release notes again linked in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into Jira Align for the remaining updates. 
The remaining updates uh, do all impact the JIRA setup tab. This is under the administrative settings on the JIRA settings um, page and then the JIRA setup tab. This is the tab that I just mentioned in the slides, received a lot of naming updates for the settings, so you'll see some of those here. The first update I wanna talk about is a new field that we have available to map, and that is the feature points custom field. Previously, if you opted to sync points for your features, you could only map that feature points value in JIRA line to the story points field in JIRA software. And at last called out in the release notes that this caused a little bit of confusion. First, just the semantics of it, having feature points synced to story points is a little confusing. And it could also impact some reports in JIRA software if teams were pulling those features or JIRA epics into their scrum boards, which is something we often see. Um, it could impact reports like the velocity chart, burn down chart, et cetera. Going forward, uh, you will be able to separate those fields with a new custom field in JIRA software uh, that you can sync up to the feature points field here in JIRA Align. Atlassian did mention that if you are currently syncing those feature points, um, when this release rolls out, there's no preparation you need to take. What will happen for you is this field will automatically fill in with your mapping from the story points custom field here. Your system will continue to operate as normal. Feature points will sync to story points in JIRA software until you choose to make that update, um, giving you time to make any preparations, discuss this with any stakeholders. Um, and then at the time that works best for you, you can come in here and update this mapping. The next field I wanna talk about is the team custom field. And the first update is that this is one of those uh, settings that has been uh, renamed. Before this release, this was called the organization field. Uh, it is now called the team custom field. And this field is used for uh, anyone who is working with the alternative configuration in JIRA software. I like to refer to this as the single project structure. It's where you have an entire program or agile release train operating out of a singular JIRA project with multiple uh, boards for each individual team uh, that's a part of that program. When you have this configuration, you need some type of field to help distribute the work um, from the project to the appropriate team board. Often that is a field called team, and in that situation, you do need to sync that here to JIRA Align so that work is appropriately attributed to the teams um, in JIRA Align. The second update to this field is under the configure button. When you are working with this field, uh, it requires quite specific mapping from JIRA software to JIRA Align. You have to map those values um, from the JIRA software team field to the JIRA Align teams, and you do so under this pop-up here. Um, the updates that we see don't really impact the actual mapping. Um, it's just some better uh, 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 interface um, updates that allow us to work with this field a little bit easier. First, Atlassian has added in a search bar for these mappings. So um, if you have a lot here, you can just search for an existing mapping and make any updates you need. And the second is that this is going to be a paginated view now. So um, when you are working with this configuration, it's very common for organizations who are quite scaled in JIRA Align to have a lot of teams that are mapped here. Um, Atlassian uh, did call out that that could sometimes cause some poor loading experiences for this pop-up. Um, and that is going to be um, uh, solved with this uh, paginated view. I want to call out that if this is the first time you're hearing of this field or seeing this mapping, um, it doesn't mean that you don't have something configured correctly in your system. There is the optimal uh, project structure in JIRA software where uh, you really have multiple projects for a single program, a project for your features or JIRA epics, and an individual project for each team. When you're working with this configuration, you don't need to map this field. So if you haven't seen this bef before, it's probably because you just don't need to use it. As always in these videos, I like to flip to the release notes and talk about the defects that were uh, called out in this release. Uh, but first, I want to talk about a section right above those defects in the release notes. Here we have a link to Atlassian's Q4 from 2022 product roadmap presentation. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch this yet, I do recommend it. It's great to just know what Atlassian um, has in store for the future of JIRA Align. So you can click this link in the uh, release notes. You do have to sign in or sign up for an account on the JIRA Align Help Center, uh, but then you'll be able to watch that presentation. 
As with most Jira line releases, we do have a few uh, defect fixes. Um, a couple of highlights that we see here, um, we are seeing some updates to key results. Uh, some specific key results weren't showing the notes field that has been updated. We're also seeing some loading improvements with the backlog module and some inconsistencies with the objective tree uh, were solved. For more details on these uh, fixes or any of the updates that I've mentioned so far, of course, you can check out the release notes linked in the description of the video. That is all for the release of version 10.116 for Jira Line. Thank you very much for joining me and good luck on your Jira Line journey.